Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> How are you guys doing today? Okay, so I have been planning to do this video for a while now. And in fact, the majority of this stuff has been sitting on our kitchen counter. Um, the rest of it was in a box that I was just kind of like holding on to um, to make the video so that I could then take everything out and start using it. And my husband was like, are you gonna make this video at some point so this stuff is off of our kitchen counter? And I said, yeah, I said, but I have kept on checking the post office because I wanna make sure that I have everything before I sit down and I make the video because somebody's, you know, whatever they sent me might have got here late or whatever. So I have checked the post office like the last two to three days. I don't think there is anything else coming in. So today is my <laughs> ginormous, huge, big, Christmas uh, PO unboxing. Well, I've already unboxed all of it, but because I wanted to have it organized to show you guys, okay? First of all, I just want to say it, the overwhelming amount of kindness and generosity that you guys have showed me is just unbelievable. You know, um, from just watching my videos, I mean, that's that is totally enough for me. I, it means the world to me, you know, and, and I say this a lot, but like I never thought a couple years ago, you know, when I started making YouTube videos on my booktube channel, I never thought it would turn into having several channels and I never thought anybody would send me anything or even send me an email, you know, and so this is just overwhelmingly nice and um, don't ever feel like you have to send me anything. The reason why I show this on here is because I think it's so kind that people send me things from cards to uh, major gifts to whatever that I want to show it on here because I think people take time. And so, um, yeah, now I did have a box of some stuff that people had sent me for Halloween. I received some candles and things like that. And um, since that didn't kind of fit with all of this, I, I do have one thing that I'm going to show um, from Halloween. But... Um, there's like two different kinds of candles and I started burning them already. <laughs> so um, I could show those at another time. I'll show those like what I'm like doing, like sitting in my bedroom. I'll have the candles in there burning and then I'll show you the candles and stuff like that. So anyway, all right. So first of all, I just want to say thank you guys so much. Um, going into 2022 on this channel, I have so many exciting things planned specifically for this channel and um, just on all of my channels. And I'm like, okay, I just... I'm just so filled with happiness and joy. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about this upcoming year and this was a perfect way to go into it. So thank you so much. Um, I first of all wanna say, you guys, I literally, I wanna make sure I don't, the last one isn't somebody's picture. I got so many Christmas cards this year, you guys. I mean, this is like unbelievable. And let me tell you what happened. So. If you don't know, there's a Facebook group called Peter Mons Vlogerinos, and um, it was started by people that watch my vlog. But it's really not about me. It's really about people just showing their, you know, front porches or their dogs or their partners or sharing that they graduated from college or got a new job or whatever, asking for help and prayers and positivity. It's just the, one of the kindest places I have ever seen in my life. And it really uh, changed my whole attitude about uh, social media in the last year because it's just such a cool place. Well, they did like a Christmas card thing this year where if you wanted to receive a Christmas card, you could put your name on this list or whatever. And then they all sent Christmas cards to each other. And you guys, the amount of cards that I have in here that say like from the Vlogerinos is unbelievable. Not to mention so many of you sent cards to my husband as well as Boo and Tucker. So thank you so much for that. I read every single card. I went through every single card. And I do wanna say in here um, on this card, just so you know who you are, this person sent me $20. Um, and it was very, very nice. I appreciate it. Um, but they said that they um, want to stay anonymous. So, um, cause they, I, I can't remember how they worded it. They said, um, they have to keep a low profile. So I, I just want to say thank you so much for that, but I, I did want to acknowledge that. All right, so there are the cards that I received. Now, where should I start? Um, I think I'm going to start with Jennifer. So Jennifer sent me, this is going to be a long video, you guys. Jennifer sent me a few things. And um, uh, first of all, Jennifer sent me these. I, now, I think I have everything organized appropriately by the right person. But if I don't, then somebody please say, no, you said that was Jennifer and it was actually me, Sheila, or something like that. Okay, Sheila E. So anyway, um, Jennifer sent me these K-Cups and said they are reusable cups you can fill with any ground coffee you see that you may want to try, which is super, super cool. So she sent me these, like, uh, reusable K-Cups, which I love so much. Okay, so I'm so excited about that. So thank you for that. 
And then, Jennifer also sent me uh, the peanut brittle, or no, the, the potato chips a big cup and said, would you please review this? I think I'm gonna do like a short or maybe like a TikTok and I'll review this. But then the next thing is really cool. So on my blog, I share a lot about uh, the meaning behind Frango Mints to me. So Frango Mints were these mints here, I've got them right here, I'll show you, um, that back in the day came from Marshall Fields. They now sell them at Macy's. And I would go to Chicago with my dad during this work trip every year. And when I was a kid, and we would stay um, at this hotel, the Ritz Carlton, and they would put a Frango Mint. <laughs> I'm afraid to open these and show you. They would put a Frango Mint. Let me show you what it looks like. <laughs> so this is a Frango Mint, okay? And they would put it on um, your pillow every night before you went to bed, or two, maybe, I think. So anyway. I've talked about how much that means to me. Then later, it became this like huge like staple between my mom and I, myself because I loved them, she loved them, because my parents both lived in Chicago for quite some time. So I would buy my mom Frango Mints for Christmas and stuff. And then we were up there for my mom's 60th birthday, and there was like this whole thing that happened between my cousin Caroline and my aunt and I. I had bought a, a, a I had bought a box of these, and I said, "Does anybody want a Frango Mint?" And everybody wanted one. And then about 20 minutes, 10 minutes later, we were still in the cab, and I said, "Does anybody else want another one?" And my cousin Caroline said, "I'll have another one." And my aunt Kathy said, "Ah." Uh -uh. We have each had one, and one is enough for everyone. Now, I will tell you, Peter has had, my husband doesn't like chocolate, so this is all my doing, okay? Peter has had quite a few Frango Mints. <laughs> I've been watching that documentary, McMillions, and I've been sitting here just like eating these. Like this is back in the day, you know, like when people would say that rich people just sit around and eat bonbons all day long. Well, minus the rich part, and me just sitting here on my uh, chair watching a documentary. <laughs> on Amazon Prime or whatever it's on and eating, I'm eating bonbons, Frango Mints. Okay, so that was the first thing. Second thing, she sent me a whole other case of these, a whole another pack of these, which is so nice. And then, and I haven't tried this yet and I really wanted to try it on Christmas morning but I hadn't made my video yet. She sent me this Frango Mint mug and then it comes with a mint chocolate ground coffee. So isn't that really cool? So it's really cold in Indianapolis today. I think I'm gonna try that. So Jennifer, thank you so much for this. I really, really appreciate it. All right, let's get into the next thing. I don't really know what else, what to show next, okay? Um, so the next thing is from Megan. And um, Megan, first of all, this was really, really kind. She knows that my husband and I go to Cheesecake Factory like all the time and she got us a gift card to Cheesecake Factory, which was really, really sweet. And she sent a beautiful Christmas card. And she sent two Dunkin' Donuts uh, dog toys. Love it so much. And then, are you ready for this? Now pay attention closely. Pay attention, because when I show this, somebody else out there is like, ah! <laughs> pay attention very closely to this, okay? Megan also um, got me this framed who's your doggy okay and i don't know if you can see it with the ring light on it but it's me and boo and tucker and you can tell it's right after they got their haircuts and they're so cute right i love this so much so thank you megan i really really appreciate it this meant so much to me especially this this is so adorable so since i'm showing megan's <laughs> where where's the other one that i want to show i'm trying to leave it in there in the kitchen oh shoot um, I did. I left it on the counter in the kitchen. Hold one second. Okay, I'm back. I thought I had lost the letter. I was like, this did not just happen. After how organized I have been to put this all together, this did not just happen. But I thought I lost the letter, but I did not. Okay, so here is the picture that Megan sent me. And here is the picture that Lisa sent me. You guys, it is so funny. It is literally, you can tell... It's seconds apart, okay? I mean, it is literally, the only way you can tell the difference is by my face. It's like seconds apart. But this is gonna go on Alex's side or my side, and the other one is gonna go on Alex's side or my side. I don't know, we're gonna put it on one side of the bed. He doesn't know this yet, but I know it. So I'm very excited by this. This is like one of my favorite pictures. I love it so much. And I just have to say this, because this is so nice that you guys sends things to Boo and Tucker and uh, that you guys mention Boo and Tucker in your cards and in your letters. And um, Lisa actually wrote me a very, very nice long letter. Um, and I just, I love when you guys like share your stories with me as well. I think it's so cool. And um, 
you know, when Pee Pee was in a lot of my videos, we would get like, you know, tons of like artwork about Pee Pee and pictures of Pee Pee and just all, all kinds of stuff, you know, that we still have all over the house. I mean, I look up and there's like, the first thing I see is this picture of Pee Pee that was painted for us. And we have artwork of Pee Pee all over the house. And so it's really nice to have some with Boo and Tucker too, because this, these are things that like, I don't think about doing on my own, and I just want to tell you, it just, it really means the world to me. So Lisa and Megan, thank you so much. These are absolutely beautiful. They mean the world to me. And Lisa um, actually included a photograph of it as well, so we can use that for something else. So thank you so much. All right, the next thing is from, hold on a second, I can put my glasses on to read the fine print on this. This is from Evelyn, and Evelyn sent me this beautiful tumbler that says, you always matter. You guys, I'm going to have so many tumblers going into 2022. Uh, this is, isn't it so nice? Beautiful, isn't it? Love it. So, Evelyn, thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. All right, I want to make sure I don't miss anything. Okay. Put that over there. Put that over there. Talked about that. Oh, this is really, really special. Okay. So, make sure I have the card out. Okay, so this is from Lindsay, and Lindsay sent this to me. I feel like she's, Lindsay sent me something else, too. Um, I feel like there was more than one thing in the box that Lindsay sent me. Hmm. Lindsay, I think you sent me something else, and I may have said somebody else gave it to me. But anyway, I want to show you guys this. So Lindsay said that she sent this to me because of our love of To Kill a Mockingbird. And this is this beautiful ornament, which I wish I would have had opened earlier to put on my tree for this year, but for next year, it's so cool. And if you see, it's like this clear bulb, and then inside of it is parts of a book that they have like cut and like, you know, uh, spun. And then on the thing, it says, book used To Kill a Mockingbird. I mean, this is unbelievable. Is that not so beautiful? Okay, so Lindsay, I love, love, love this. This is so cool. You guys are like such great gift givers. Like I need to call you for gift ideas for the holidays is really what I need to do because you guys are just fantastic gift givers. Okay, um, the next one is, I could get the name right, K.O. Okay, so this is from K.O. whose Vlogmas videos and videos on YouTube I've been watching. So hi K.O., how are you? K.O. sent me this beautiful Woodwick candle, which is like one of my favorite candles of life. I love these. I love the sound of them, and I love the smell of them. So this one is cinnamon chai, which y'all know I love cinnamon smells. Oh my God, it smells so good. And then do you see the wick? When you burn it, it like crackles and stuff. I love it. Oh, this was so sweet. Thank you, K.O. And then K.O. also sent me a very nice card or letter. And then also this. Okay, do I have it all set straight? which is like a winter reindeer dream catcher. <gasps> Isn't that so fantastic? I love it. Aw. Thank you so much, K.O. This was so sweet. I really, really appreciate it. It's been really nice watching you guys' videos and kind of getting to know you guys better. So I just want to say that's been really, really cool. Um, okay, the next thing I want to say is I got these uh, for Halloween and they've been sitting like next to my books and I just cleaned out my books and so I was like, oh, I want to say that's why I got this. And this is from Nikki and Nikki sent me these two books by Robert Keller and they are British Monsters 1 and 2 and they're basically about serial killers from Britain. So I just want to say thank you so much for that. That was very, very cool. Um, okay, the next thing is this tumbler that I received from Karen, I think. Karen, yes. Um, and she said, I know that you love horror and Scooby, so are you ready for this? This is so cute, you guys. This is really cute. Hold on a second. Okay. So, it is a tumbler, and it says, get in, loser, and it's got, like, the Scooby-Doo mystery van on it, but then it's got, like, all of the, like, Texas Chainsaw Massacre, Scream, um, Friday the 13th, or uh, Michael Myers from Halloween, Friday the 13th, it's got everybody on it. Isn't that so cool? I love that so much. Karen, thank you. That was really fun. That was really, really cool. Okay. Let's see. The next one, this is going pretty good. This is going pretty good, still organized. Okay, the next one I wanna show, there was one that had no note or anything in it, and, and this is from April. So April, 
if there was a card in here, I just like made sure that I went through everything to make sure I, if there was a card in there, I don't think I missed it. So I don't know where the card is, okay? Um, so anyway, there was no card in there, but this is from April. And she sent me some beaver nuggets, <laughs> which is like a treat on here. Okay, so hilarious. And then she also sent me, oh my, you guys, this is so beautiful. April, thank you so much. And it was this thing, and it, this little, you hang it. Hold on a second, let me show you. It's like a little ornament, but you can hang it any time of the year. And it says, I am always with you. Now, if you know the story, and it has a little cardinal in the tree. If you know the story, okay, when my mom was really sick and we had a conversation, she said, and so many of you sent me cards that had cardinals on it. I don't know if you knew that or what, but it just really meant a lot to me. And so, anyway, my mom said if she ever came back to visit me, you know, after she had passed away, she would come back in the form of a cardinal. And I absolutely love this so much, okay? And there's also a little thing that you read with it. Hold on a second. And it's this little card that she included in here as well. And it says, Red Feathered Soul. And I love this so much. Okay, when you're lost or feeling down, don't despair. Just look around. God made me red so you would see I still exist outside your memory. I make my visits in bright daylight. You'll hear my song in distant flight. My cardinal song is a call to you to tell you that I miss you too. I am everywhere and finally free. Like love you cannot touch or see. You'll see me in the trees and skies. I didn't leave. Love never dies. LB. And I love this so much. Thank you so much, April. I really, really appreciate it. And I hope I didn't miss your card. Okay. Um, let's see. I didn't know that that was going to get me teared up like that. The next thing... Do, 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 do. Oh, okay. So this is from, let me get the card out here. I think it's Diana. This is from Diana. So thank you so much, Diana. Diana sent me all of these, well, I want to make sure, okay, all these coffee K cups, do you see? And I'm so excited. This is, I think this is a brand I haven't tried before. I like pulled like a couple of them out. And hold on a second. I keep on pulling the peppermint mocha one out. So this is from the brand, where is it at? I saw it on here on one of them. But anyway, she sent me a ton of these. Peppermint mint, chocolate raspberry, peppermint mocha, peppermint mocha, peppermint mocha, <laughs> peppermint mocha. I keep on like looking down, I see an orange one. Peppermint mocha. Oh, here's the one I saw. Chocolate raspberry. So anyway, thank you so much for these. I just want to say I really appreciate it. And she sent me a mug, and she put a little note on here, which was so cute. And she said, oh, I just ripped the note. She said, Mom says if broke, she will replace. Love, Diana. And it's not broke at all, and I love it. It's Snoopy and Woodstock, and it says friends forever. I love that so much. It's so cute. So thank you so much. Really, really appreciate it, Diana. Okay. And clean up as you go. Cards over here. Okay. Oh, then I want to show you my uh, bunny... <laughs> Bunny went overboard this year. So if you don't know Bunny, she's a vloggerino. She watches my channels. She won the fan. She won the Alyssa Edwards Beast fan. She's part of the book club. Bunny and I go way back, okay? My battery died right after I introduced Bunny. So here we go again with Bunny. All right, so let's get into this. So Bunny, first of all, went totally overboard and it just was so nice. I really appreciate it. First of all, Bunny sent me a hat from the Human Rights Campaign that says Pride on it, which I absolutely love. So thank you so much for that, uh, Bunny. Then the next thing is, I had seen this book and I don't even remember where I saw it, but do you ever like see something like for a TV show or a book or a movie and then you forget it? So that was what had happened, was that I had seen this book and then like didn't take a, I usually take a screenshot of books I want to read and didn't see it. And then Bunny sent this to me and I was like, oh my God, I, I've been wanting to read this. And that is The Recovering, Intoxication and Its Ast Aftermath by Leslie Jamison, author of the New York Times bestseller, The Empathy Exams. Um, and so let me read just a little bit of it. Oh, hold on a second. Let me get my reading glasses on. Where are they at? They're right here. All right. Uh, with this deeply personal and seamless blend of memoir, cultural history, literary criticism, and reportage, the recovering turns our understanding of the traditional addiction narrative on its head, demonstrating that the story of recovery can be every bit as electrifying as the train wreck itself. Leslie Jameson deftly uh, excavates the stories we tell about addiction, her own and others, and examines what we want these stories to do and what happens when they fail us. 
All the while, she offers a fascinating look at the larger history of the recovery movement and the complicated beating that race and class have on our understanding of who is criminal and who is ill. And I'm just so excited to read this. Thank you so much, Bunny. I really, really appreciate it. So then the next thing that Bunny got me was, and I'm going to save this stuff for next year, okay? Bunny had a hat very similar to this, but I think hers had horns in it. And that was um, a Santa hat with some fur around the edge, well, faux fur around the edge of it. And then she sent me these beautiful tumblers that are like, I love it. They're gingham plaid. You know I love the gingham plaid. This one is black and white, and this one is red and white. So Alex and I each have one, and they're glass. Are these not so beautiful? <gasps> I'm totally obsessed with that. Okay, then the last thing that she sent me, and this is so cool. The Amazon guy came to the door. This video does not want to get made. I'm telling you, it doesn't. Okay, so let me show you the last thing that uh, Bunny sent to me, and this is really, really cool. Okay, y'all know how I feel about sharks, right? Y'all know I'm terrified of sharks, okay? So Bunny sent me this, and let me show you what it is. She sent me this very nice little box, and when you open it, it has this card in here which I'm gonna read to you in just a second. Hold on, can I get it out? Has this card in here, which I'm gonna read to you in just a second. But <clears throat> it also has this little bracelet in here that has these beautiful little beads on it and then it has a sharp right there, okay? So let me read to you this card. It says, Saving the Blue. Each purchase helps contribute to Saving the Blue, working to recover and restore threatened marine species. This is so cool, Bonnie, that you did this. I love like gifts that have like meaning or cause behind them. So, when you go to the back side, it says, meet Eddie. Eddie is a female great hammerhead shark that measured 285 centimeters total length and is mature. She was found and tagged around Andros, the largest island in the Bahamas. Researchers believe some hammerheads are resident to Andros all year. Will Eddie leave the Bahamas or will she stick around and call it home? Okay. Then it says, start tracking Eddie on here. Open the camera on your phone, point it at the QR code, and click the pop-up. And then you get to see what's... It's so cool, you guys. So, Bunny, thank you for this and all of the gifts. I, it just was phenomenal. I really, really appreciate it. All right. Is that the last one? I want to make sure I got the last... Okay. Last but not least... <laughs> I know there's like a bunch of you out there that are like waiting for this one. Is my gift from the Vlogarinos. Okay. Now let me show this without showing, hold on a second, addresses and all that kind of stuff. No, I don't believe I did. Okay. <laughs> there's going to be my thumbnail. So this was this ginormous <laughs> package that I got from the Vlogarinos. Okay. Now Matt who I've talked to a lot before. I love you, Matt. You're awesome. Matt owns a candle company. Matt has sent me his candles in the past. He sent me a rose candle, and it's to this day one of my favorite candles, even though it's gone. I loved it, though. It was fantastic. I had it in my bathroom downstairs. It smelled fantastic. So he owns a, com a candle company, and the candle company, I believe it's called, let me pronounce it correctly, uh, Motive Candles, and it's M-O-D-E-V, -E -E okay? So, he sent me, and I guess he just came up with these. I saw somebody talk about it on um, the Vlogarinos page. Like, I saw a couple people talking about it, like, oh, we have candles now, we have candles. And I knew it had to do something with him. So, anyway, he has come up with these candles, okay? And if I can find a website, I will link it below. But he has come up with these candles, and they are motive candles, and then they're called the Vlogarinos, you guys. And this one is Vanilla Chestnut Latte. Oh, my God. Oh, this is perfection. And they're so pretty, aren't they? And then the next one is ca a Cozy Cashmere Plum, okay? Oh, they smell so good, you guys. And then the Vlogarinos also sent me Hydrating Replenishing Hair Mask um, from Sukin, this uh, hair care, which I really appreciate. And then, where's the card? I want to make sure I have the card right here. Oh, I have the card. Where did the card go? Oh, shoot. Okay, hold on a second. Well, it's from the vlog arena, but where did I put the card? I don't want to move the camera. Hold on a second. Because the card was so sweet, and it said something about... Here it is. Here's the card. <laughs> okay, so here's the card, and the card says, Merry Christmas, Peter. 
Wishing you, Alex, Boo, and Tucker a happy, healthy, and cozy Christmas. It's not much, but we... It was a lot, you guys. I really appreciate it. It's not much, but we hope these Logarino candles bring light when times feel dark. And, and may your new quilt bring warmth when days feel cold. And we love you, Peter. XOXO, Matt, and the Logarinos. And so... They bought me this beautiful quilt. It's, it comes in a West Elm bag. I love West Elm. So this is from West Elm. Oh, my God. So I just put my new comforter on our bed last night, and I put another blanket on top of it, but it doesn't really match. And so I may put this one on there. This is beautiful. Although we have in the corner over there. <laughs> Well, I'm kind of afraid to show you guys because there's like a pile of blankets up over there. Alex likes to lay on the couch with um, the comforters and the blankets and all that kind of stuff. So he is going to be obsessed with this. So I'm so, so, so excited about this. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Oh no, this is going to go on the bed. This is going to go on the bed because this is like a quilt quilt. Oh, this is gorgeous, you guys. Let me open it and make sure what it looks like on the other side. I want to see. <gasps> It's just got like the lining inside. This is beautiful. Oh my God, Alex is going to be obsessed with this. You guys are so sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you to everybody that sent me something. I really appreciate it. Thank you to all of those that watch my videos on a regular basis. We can resume tomorrow <laughs> with the regular sitting on the bed videos. Now, I've got lots of things planned for this channel and I'm really excited about it. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you. This meant the world to me. I love you guys and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.